Hey guys, it's Housewife in Heels, and I am finally back with another hosiery video. I know it's been a minute. The last one that I believe I gave to you guys was me trying out the Wolfords for the first time, which, if I remember right, I was not too pleased with the packaging considering how expensive the actual tights were. So I'm hoping that this brand Sophie Carezza, I'm assuming by Ellie, it says a lot on the package, so I'm just going to go ahead and read that to you guys. I'm hoping that a subscriber who really knows his hosiery stuff <laughs> sent me these knowing that they are going to be packaged in a much more thought out and careful way. So I guess we'll find out. And these aren't any nude. I know I haven't done a nude color for you guys in a while or a flesh tone or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try those out for you today, but of course we always have to do the unboxing because that's just what I like to do. I like to unbox them and then give sort of a first impression about them after I actually put them on and try them on and give them a little bit of kind of a miniature test run for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and open it. So these are compression wear. If you know me, I'm not the wildest fan about compression wear because I feel I don't really need it. But I get a lot of it from you guys, so I'm assuming you guys like it, so I do it for you. Oh yeah, these are packaged way better than the Wolfords I got. So this already just from what I can tell, they're folded nicely. It looks like someone was actually thinking about what they were doing when these were being packaged. So all is well in that world. Oh wow, well, we got a nice fat sticker keeping this pretty well in there, unlike Wolfords. Like I was a little bit disappointed with Wolfords, but these actually I am not. As you can tell, I'm taking them out of the package. They were nicely folded, not just thrown in there like Wolfords. So I think I'm going to be comparing everything to Wolfords now. So let's see what we got. Okay. So these, it says compression wear on the package, but it looks to me, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera, more like shaper wear. Let's see if I can show you guys. There we go, without my big old hand getting in the way. They are boarded. I was very well educated by this particular subscriber. He really went out of his way and went into detail to describe um, how different pairs of tights work. And he had sent me vintage ones a while back, and they have the same effect taking on the actual shape of the leg and he told me it was boarding so now I know so thank you very generous subscriber so I'll be looking forward to wearing a what I believe to be modern pair of boarded hosiery that would be something different these definitely have a reinforced toe and a reinforced ankle so that is definitely something I am intrigued by I don't believe I have anything with quite this much reinforcement. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera just yet, but when I do the up close try on, you guys should be able to see it almost looks like a satiny finish down here. So I think I've rambled on quite enough. That is my cat at the door. Don't mind her. She's just wanting to get in the shop. And I will go ahead and try these on for you and tell you guys exactly what I think about them. Alright guys, I'm back and I have the tights on. So I have come to discover two things about them. One, they are not just compression wear as like shaper wear. They are complete compression wear. I'm being held together all over, which I should have expected just the appearance of them sort of threw me off, but I guess some designers will go ahead and do that and more power to them. Something I'm definitely noticing 
is that there is a very reinforced toe box and a more so disguised reinforced heel. I've never heard of anyone having tears in the heel of their tights, but it would make sense for most people who just tear into their socks. Like, my husband is constantly tearing holes in the heels of his socks. I don't know if he just walks right on his heel, but I'm sure that there are other people who do need that kind of protection. So, I would definitely recommend these for someone who needs that, or just someone who can really, really appreciate a very soft, yet sort of roomy toe box. Now, if you are familiar with myself, I'm not too wild about really, really the thick and large toe boxes because I love shoes that have a very low and show-offy <laughs> toe box, something where you see a lot of toe hanging out either way. So I can throw one of these on, for instance and you can clearly see an outline which is not really up my alley but i knew something that was something sort of like a little i don't know i felt it would be an appropriate surprise treat at the end is that i found at saint laurent actually a while back this one i've been holding on to these for a while and i just haven't had the chance to find a reason to show you guys, but then I tried out these tights, which often give you a very vintage -y feel, and these shoes are no exception. These are the Venus 110 Pump. I believe only the Venus 100 is still available, but I'll link everything in the description to the best of my ability. These I got for an absolute steal a while ago for only $200, which at St. Laurent, $200, <laughs> you might be lucky if that gets you a keychain in most situations, so I would, I would say I did a good job. And here, one is definitely a high statuesque heel, but I look at it and I just get sort of like the I Love Lucy vibes or something even potentially from the 40s. It gives me a very Salvatore Ferragamo shoe kind of look. And for those who don't know, that was Marilyn Monroe's primary shoe designer. He, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, also did the red shoes in The Wizard of Oz for Dorothy. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one down there for now. Quickly tear out the other one and show you how these look with these tights. I just thought I can't find a more perfect shoe because it has a very, very, very high, high coverage toe box, but you still get a little bit of something with a sling back, which I don't believe I've had any sling backs before, so these will be a first for me. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how they look. They slip on very easily with these tights, I will say that. Usually it's a little bit more of a challenge, like when I was looking at them in the store, and then I heard the price tag, and I said, man. But now I'm looking at the opium sandals. But I think those look kind of pretty, even with seeing a little bit of the reinforced heel. It, doesn't look too shabby, at least from what I can tell, but I'm blind as a bat without my glasses, so definitely let me know. Might even stand up because I can just to give you guys an image as to how everything looks when standing up, and then I'll do my up close shots like I usually do. But yeah, I think these are awfully pretty for a 110 that it gives you sort of like they're the antithesis of a so cake, but I think they still have like a certain amount of attractiveness. And for some people, it might like just bring you back. I kind of feel like if I saw Blanche Devereaux wearing a pump, she would wear something similar to this. 
But thinking about her, I just keep thinking about those LA-16 mules from St. Laurent, so we shall see. But I'll go ahead and take these off and show you guys the actual try-on, because that's what I do. But overall, if I'm going to say anything about these tights, definitely decent compression wear. Just know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to the reinforcement. I personally don't feel I need it, but if you are someone who does need that reinforcement, you're just someone who's always busting out of the end of their tights, then these might be something for you. But other than that, I will get into the up-close shoe try-on, and I will see you guys later.